afternoon. I'm Michel Tambra, the CEO of Softkinetic. And what you're about to see here is a navigation control system for television or any other device that's based on gestures. Okay. So Sébastien here is uh, controlling and navigating a TV experience with his gestures without any controller, no remote control. Uh, nothing in the pocket. In this nothing example, in the it's just uh, Launching uh, selecting it, uh, a movie. Selecting a movie in this case. Or? And then, uh, I will go to a video game. And so the whole idea is to transform the way people interact with television and other systems by uh, letting them interact without any, any control. You want to see the bird? Oh, that's very neat. Thank you. Very neat. So are you looking at the integrating this into t televisions yes. or yeah? Yes, okay. we're working with television OEMs to integrate that so that next year people can get that directly integrated into their television. And would, would you be um, operating system androgynous or would, is, is there a specific no, OS that you... No, we all operating systems and, and CPUs. So from the high-end uh, video game consoles all the way down to embedded processors. So how much how much uh, extra would this probably charge or uh, cost the for my TV if, if I were to have this? Less than a hundred dollars to have something like this included on my TV. Okay. And do you, do you have any announcements yet for OEMs that uh, might be launching? No. Watch our space. Do you, have, do you have a timeline for when you might have an announcement? Well, actually, we did announce uh, last week the adoption of our technology by a large uh, European television company called Belgacon. That was okay. announced last week. Can, can you go over one more time uh, how, how you could get this to work on a netbook? Well, so the, the gesture recognition software that we, that we are uh, doing is not very heavy. It would, there are versions that we have already made that uh, works on Atom CPU or even lower, uh, like ARM CPUs. So it's really not a question of, um, of CPU for, for the gesture recognition. Here, the demos that you see are more graphic intensive, so they might not work, of course, on a, on a netbook, but we could certainly find uh, applications uh, that would work on a netbook, I don't know, a user interface uh, control and stuff like that. And what's the camera hardware requirements? Uh, well, so the, the camera that, uh, that you're seeing over there on the top is a time-of-flight camera. It's seeing depth. Uh, it's not uh, RGB, so it's not seeing color. It's only seeing depth. And, uh, if, of course, if you would want to make uh, such uh, such gesture recognition on the netbooks, either we would have to bundle such a camera or have the netbook embed such a camera. Oh, this demo's neat. What's going on here? Here it's a game where you have to avoid... Okay, cool. Very cool. Well, thanks so much again, guys. Very interesting.